Hello, welcome. This is Birdy. Welcome to a new lesson in Houdini. Today we will take a Crown Water Splash in the Shelf Tool in Houdini. So let's get started. Hello, welcome. This is Birdy. Welcome to a new lesson in Houdini. Today we will continue our journey in um, the shelf tool particle fluid and today we will explore uh, crown splash particle fluid so let's get started uh, just go to the particle hit uh, crown splash or control click to center it okay as we can see here uh, it creates two things for us first the the wave tank or ocean source okay and, and it has a narrow band but it's very shallow okay it's different than the, the usual uh, wave tank that we using here in the ocean because this is very shallow okay and this is the first thing it created for us uh, a wave tank and the second thing is a sphere it creates a sphere for us emit a fluid or particle like this uh, tools so basically he created two tools for us uh, emit particle fluid okay and uh, flat tank okay so if we get inside that of course we have to uh, auto dot network this is the first one has a gravity not sure what it's used for okay so here is a fleet tank it uh, import the flip tank here and also it create for us uh, a volume source to emit particle from the sphere if we go here we'll have the sphere create the sphere for us and then flip source to convert it to convert the sphere to two things uh, particles and volume okay here is the points the particle points and here is the volume the surface right then it read it here it, it reads the, the point and the surface here as it's the particle and the surface the volume okay but uh, in this example to, to give us the crown splash effect it use uh, something called enable surface tension or, or the surface tension the surface tension it is the thing that give us the effect of the the crown splash or the water that has a surface tension together okay of course it take lots of memory and more time to uh, to cache that's why it's uh, so not recommended to use it unless if you need the effect of the crown splash in the water or anything else okay and also it will use it use the same method in uh, uh, drop particle fluids okay so so let's make a cache for the flip book for the simulation and let's see what we will have here so as we can see now after making the cache this is the effect of the crown splash as we can see of course it takes time a little to make the cache but this is the effect of the crown splash you can make it in a in a cup of tea for example or a, or a surface of water but as i said um, the effect of this uh, tool is a little limited okay so that was the end of this lesson i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next time have a good day
And that was the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next time. Have a good day.